anxiety, think it down, decatastrophize. Anxiety, you can actually think it down by thinking rationally, clearly, the things you think, the hotter your thoughts, the worse your emotional and mental stability will be. If you, if you can think to yourself, and this is what I've had to do over the last four years, the softer my thoughts, the more firm my thoughts are, the more rational my thoughts are, the more real my thoughts are, the less I worry. And, I, and I've put a dollar amount. If it's not you know, $500, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Do the best you can. Sometimes it's better just to, like the other day, this guy, a guy never paid me for one of the inspections and another guy, it was two inspections. One guy never paid me for an inspection. Another guy uh, told me to call me back with the, the money and because he gave me a bad credit card, never paid me. And I started getting me upset. So I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna destroy my life over $250 or $150. I don't care. And, and I've been able to go about selling more jobs. I, I sell thousands of dollars worth of jobs if I'm not stressed out about somebody that owes me $250. So for me, anxiety management is in the form of the, the softer, the clearer, the better my thoughts are, the less stress I have. If I, if I what if myself, I can what if myself to death. So I try to keep it really soft, try to keep it rational, try to argue in a soft way, argue my irrational thoughts and, and pound them into behavior, okay? I use this example. If I said to you there's a fire in the house, what would you do? You might run. If I said to you there's a fire in our fireplace in the house, what would you do? You might go over and get warm by it. I might say there's a fire in my house and you might think what kind of a fire? What if I said it's a candle lit, it's candles a candle, candle fires on top of a, a, a birthday cake, then you'd be comfortable with that. So when we think about thoughts, and when we have thoughts, whatever they may be about people, others, situations, we need to make sure that we, the thought doesn't get out of control and start spinning around and ricocheting. I use the idea of if this is how thoughts have happened in my life up until four years ago. So up until I was like 56 years old, okay, 57, 56 years old. I suffer a lot with anxiety, stress, things like that. I get really wired up. I'm always wired, but sometimes it goes over too much anxiety and it becomes a panic attack. So what I've learned is to pound the, the thought into submission and be sure to think think the thoughts that are real and rational. There might be a big fire. I might need to get out of the house, but if it's just candles, it's a fire, but it's not going to hurt anybody at this point, okay? It's a fire in a fireplace is contained. Uh, uh, you know, so anyway, so remember to decatastrophize anxiety, think it down. Settle it down, calm it down by thinking clear, rational, real, factual thoughts.